Welcome to another episode of the Zebra Influencer Series. In this episode, you'll be hearing a conversation between me and one of our valued ISV partners, AccuSpeech Mobile. In the case we have not had the pleasure of meeting, I am Scott Reyes, the Senior ISV Manager for Manufacturing, Transportation, and Logistics. I have the distinct honor of working with software organizations that focus on innovating and resolving critical operational challenges for our customers. And in my function, I get to help the ISVs navigate our Zebra ecosystem. Here at Zebra, we are so committed to our customers. We take pride in looking into the future and not only anticipating the needs of our customers, we also look to create solutions and help resolve those needs and work alongside our valued partners to bring them to market. I'm excited to introduce our next guest the CEO of a software company focused on voice enablement and has over a decade of experience successfully implementing voice into manufacturing and logistics organizations. Working with his customers, he's helped optimize an already streamlined process to gain additional double digit efficiencies. He holds an MBA in marketing from National University and a BA from Syracuse University in New York. Let's welcome Bob to the virtual stage. Thanks, Scott. Great to be here, really. It's a privilege. Thanks. Hey, Bob. So for the audience, could you give us a, a little bit more about how you got started in the market? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so back in 2010, uh, when the AccuSpeech technology was really developed, I was brought in to jumpstart the company and uh, been here ever since. And what we've witnessed over that time is an evolution of technology that's been a natural transformation that's been really impressive and the evolution of that technology in the warehouse has become more sophisticated the challenges have become larger and our customers have utilized uh, our voice edge technology more and more and more effectively and efficiently than we ever even dreamed they could so um, what we're trying to do today is help our customers with the digital transformation in the warehouse and also utilize voice on the edge the most effectively and efficiently uh, as they possibly could. And it's it's been a very, very exciting time for us, our customers, and the market in general. Awesome, Bob, thank you for that. I know our audience today who are watching are interested in the automotive industry. Could you expand on how you're working in the automotive industry? Sure, the automotive industry, and by the way, I'm a big fan of cars, I have five of them. Um, <laughs> the, the issue that we, that we deal with primarily is in auto parts. The fact is that the distribution of these parts all around the world right now is a, a very, very uh, compelling business. The, in the industry right now, as you know, um, the used car business, new car business, parts are hard to get. Right now, with manufacturers trying to get parts to their distributors, to their customers, to the folks who are changing oil in their garage, is a real challenge and they're just flying off the shelves. So what we're working with is helping to digitize that parts distribution business primarily uh, with manufacturers of parts and also with distribu uh, distributors of parts. So um, while a lot of folks might say, well, that doesn't sound particularly interesting or sexy, the fact is that these companies are having extreme challenges in logistics and the biggest compelling issue they have is how do I get part A to place B as quickly as possible so that they can have uh, you know the, the, the customer experience that you know that they that they deserve so what we do is we will work with them to increase their capability to distribute these products all around the world as quickly and as effectively as possible and utilizing voice on their edge devices uh, voice automating these applications is is the biggest part of, of what we do. Very good. So there is a, a large supply chain challenge in the automotive industry, as, as you mentioned. Uh, the used car prices are going a lot higher. There's a lot of demand for the used parts. Um, and new cars are currently sitting in the lots. The amount of key fobs have been reduced. Um, some people are still waiting for their brand new vehicles to be given to them. Uh, how are you specifically helping the automotive industry resolve some of the supply chain challenges that they're having? The biggest impact we've had with our customers is optimizing the flow of, of moving their products from A to B. 
And as all these companies continue to evolve to a digital warehouse, and as they continue to expand their edge-based computing, we work with those customers so that we can, again, make sure that the customer experience is excellent and that the dealership can maintain a, a terrific service record so that in, in terms of fixing used vehicles and also for the new companies, uh, the new cars, to make sure that they get the parts as quickly as possible when they need them. Um, th there's a, a whole myriad of, of people and types of organizations that require these types of parts. So it's a very diverse and rich distribution channel. So it, it becomes extremely interesting in, in terms of the customers that we work with is we go to see them, we check out what they do, we see how they're evolving, we see what their challenges are, um, and, and we try to provide the best solution that we can so that, again, we, we continue down the optimization trail of their processes, of their workflows, and also of their distribution challenges. Um, voice automation, these applications uh, in, in the new digital warehouse uh, is, a, is a really new type of a paradigm for voice. Uh, we can provide it quickly. We can have uh, a voice optimated, automated workflow deployed in these distribution centers in less than four weeks and the benefits are instantaneous. So it's, it's a, a real challenge to try to get uh, customers to understand that this can be done so quickly, especially since they've probably already evolved to Android or they're already uh, looking at new ways to take advantage of a uh, digital information and edge-based technologies. And AccuSpeech allows that capability to be leveraged uh, even more. So we're excited to work with our companies and uh, our customers and be a part of that. Yeah, so the question I guess uh, I have sitting on the automo automotive side is, Voice has been around for a while, correct? That's a great, yeah, absolutely. And and the, I was just talking to one of the industry experts, and she was relating to me that voice was so interesting and compelling back in the in 2010 and 20 you know 2008 that people started to buy it in its initial form, and it never really had a chance to evolve and grow up. Well, now with the with the companies moving to edge-based technologies and Android and, and digitization, it's really taken an opportunity for customers to say, we really need new types of uh, flexible, agile uh, technologies so that we can continue to change and evolve. And what we've done, uh, what we've always done is had voice on the device, which now, of course, is voice on, in edge technology. The biggest impact that we have for their organization is is automating those uh, implementations. So when you say something, have three or four things happen simultaneously, have a lot of input uh, pre-saved, being able to say things and have multiple things happen. Um, and once our customers and our, our prospects see that capability, that we're automating their workers, we're making sure that they're utilizing that, that rich uh, edge-based technology that Zebra technology makes, it gives them an opportunity to uh, exploit all the benefits that it has. But in addition, you know, we're going to give them the most optimal scenario to be able to do their business, their workflows optimized very, very cost effectively. Those are the things that we're really focused on today because those are the challenges that our customers are having. So how do you help the customers streamline their existing optimized process, Ava? Okay, another excellent question. So ordinarily we go into a prospect or even an existing customer and we take a look at how they're doing their workflows today. And we are so impressed with seeing how companies have worked so diligently and put so much time and effort and resource into optimizing their workflows. So when we go to a, a distribution center or we go to a manufacturer's distribution facility and we see what they're doing and we see how they do it, what we want to do is we don't want to change, rip out and replace. What we want to do is we want to add automation. We want to add vision. We want to add anything that we can that's going to continue to allow them to down that continuous improvement path. So this is our opportunity to show our customers exactly what a lot of our Fortune 50 customers already know. 
that by being able to utilize edge-based voice automation, you can speak to these feature-rich Zebra devices. You can use the HD 4000 for to look at visuals uh, in terms of uh, location and product sets. All this capability is available to them with the optimal workflow being voice automated. So once we see this and they learn how to use it, they use it over and over again. We've got customers that have 16 voice enabled applications in the warehouse. We've got customers you know, that utilize it anywhere that they can get a productivity increase. And while in the past with the inflexible server based types of systems, they would promise, you know, ROIs in a couple of years or, you know, the double digit productivity increases with cost effective AccuSpeech edge based voice, we can be in in four to six weeks. You can start to see benefits immediately and many times ROI in less than a year. And as Zebra continues to bring out more and more uh, capability and devices like the HD 4000 that connect to those devices, we're going to be able to voice enable those because everything we do, again, is on the device. So it's all about what the customer is trying to accomplish, how we make what they do better in terms of the flow and, and the automation, and really try to work with them to get them almost you know as, as accurate as possible in terms of reducing all the errors and making sure that from a productivity perspective, we do get 10, 20, 30 percent productivity improvement because, I mean, let's face it, another big challenge that these organizations are facing, they're having a hard time finding people. Right now, the unemployment rate is so low and people, it's really, really difficult for them to find human assets. So if we can come in and take a look at what they do and how they do it, and I can provide a 20, 30, 40 percent increase in productivity, that problem eases off a bit. And you know you don't necessarily have to hire so many seasonal workers so if, if if you can if you can take something and exploit it over a whole a group of workers and exploit it over an entire warehouse it, it becomes very 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 compelling for our customers so that's that's really at the at, that cuts to the essence of, of what we do here at AccuSpeech. well you mentioned a couple of different things here you mentioned vision voice and it all together seems a little futuristic. I see how a frontline worker is using voice and they can speak into the device and they get a full touch screen with that device that gives them all the information they need to do their job. Uh, my thought here is that some of these resources, as you mentioned before, may be new to the market, they're unskilled. How do we get them to use the technology you just, you just described? Um, can you give me and the audience a specific example of what's happening with the frontline workers and how they're impacted by your solution? Certainly. The strength of any technology right now is, is to make the workers better and more effective and even safer to increase the safety of, of the workers' environment. So what we do, again, differentiating from other older voice systems, we're voice enabling the application and the implementation that they're already using. So there's a, there's a commonality of purpose. They understand that we're not ripping out and replacing. We're not, we don't have to voice train them. We don't have to teach them a whole new way to do their job. What we're doing is we're providing them with tools to make them do their job better. So for instance, if, if we have someone that's picking along and, and maybe they've got the visual, they've got the HD 4000s on and they can see a picture of what they're picking and then all of a sudden they see there's four damaged cases. So instead of having to go back out to the main menu, go to the damage screen, re-scan everything with their barcode scanner, with voice automation, they can say something like damage five cases and everything that they needed to do before all happens in the background and they can continue to move forward with their job. So the, um, there's, there's two very important aspects to that. Number one, if they're getting bonused on how much they pick and how hard they work, that time that they save is going to be very, very significant in terms of their bonus, in terms of how much money they make. So there, be, there becomes a, a, a real strong working relationship between the folks on the front line and this technology as it integrates. Uh, the second thing is if you take that small piece of automation for the damages, for instance, and you have 150 people a picking in your warehouse and that happens to them each five times a day and I can save two minutes there and that's one piece of automation 
all of a sudden everybody starts to feel that they're more effective at their job. They're saving more time. They can pick more things. Everything, everybody wins. Uh, the organization, the managers, the frontline people, it, it, all of a sudden when you become more productive in what you do and the information becomes more credible at the source, you're getting edge-based digitized information at the point of work so that you can utilize that for analysis later and your people are excited because they're strengthening their skill sets. They're working with vision. They're working with voice. They've got all kinds of capability at their fingertips. And again, it makes their job safer too. So there's so much that we can do for our customers. And when we have the opportunity to go in and really take a look at how they do what they do, it we can have an extremely powerful impact on those workflows and those folks. So we're, we're always excited to go in, especially with a new customer to show them what we can do. So now that we're talking about the frontline worker and you describe them as part of the process, they're also looking to enhance their own situation within the warehouse. Can you help us understand what the Dana life person in the warehouse today versus what it would look like after they've selected your solution? For the customers that we talk about, that we talk to today, um, have very, very sophisticated workflows and processes in place. Many of them have spent a lot of time making sure that their applications are very agile and flexible. They make changes you know, to them if they need them. Um, they're optimizing what they do specifically for their business. And if you're a 3PL, for instance, that's a, that's a very large challenge as they have multiple customers and multiple product sets and single warehouses. You've got multiple workflows and picking happening for multiple um, for multiple customers all the time. So when you have an opportunity to go in and take a look at that workflow and have them tell you exactly what they would like to improve, how they would like to make it better with voice automation. So for instance, if they never have to look down at the screen again, or they can make sure that everything that they're doing uh, in their process is everything that they can do in their process in terms of automating it and making sure that it's more accurate, making sure that you know the, the errors disappear. Um, what we try to do is make the worker as effective as possible in their job. And the ones that embrace it, and most of them do, are the ones that are bonus to make more money with more picks or, or to be more accurate or to do as much as they can and take advantage of that capability. So. Um, you don't want the you want the folks to be productive. You don't want them to have to look down and again go back out, go to the error screen, or having to do administration or looking at a pick list. Or you want everything to be right in their line of vision. So by being able to scan it or have like the HD four thousand and see a picture of it, where's you know where's my location? Where do I need to go? Um, this gives the opportunity for the frontline people again. To, to be the tip of the spear. They have as the best technology they can utilize. They've got their applications which have been optimized and now they're voice automated. And the whole point now is there is a, an extreme push in our industry about digital automation, about edge-based uh, digital information, how you can utilize this to look at trends, look at analysis, what's being picked, who's picking the best, and utilizing this data, again, down the continuous improvement road. When your folks are utilizing the best technology and doing their best job, that information becomes even more viable. So what, what we want to do is try to make those front line people very happy, safer, have them make more money, so that the people who manage and look at these statistics can understand that this is a big part of where they need to take next steps, where they need to go next, maybe up the up the chain in terms of, you know, maybe changes they need to make to their WMS. The whole point is it all works together when you digitize information, uh, again, at the point of work, at the edge. And that's what we do. And we always try to help the worker feel that he's a big part of that, so. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure they're all happy to make more money if that's possible. Uh, and using the technology would make it a lot easier. I mean, now that we're talking about money and your solution, right? Uh, I'm sure the audience is thinking the same thing I am. Um, what would it take to get your solution and put it in place? Uh, what are the technical aspects I need to think about 
And uh, what would it take to get a paid proof of concept working for, uh, for me or one of our customers? We love to work with customers that are always looking to improve how they do what they do. So what we do is we will have one of our installation engineers come on site for a day or two, take a look at your workflows, take a look at your environment, take a look at the edge hardware that you're utilizing, um, and we will voice enable a couple of screens, do some automation in 24 to 48 hours so that you can use it on the floor, you can put it in on your test system, your, or if you wanted to put it in production, because one of the great things about uh, edge-based voice capabilities is that you can deploy one user at a time, you can deploy 10 users at a time, you can deploy one warehouse at a time. So we like to go in and show the full richness of capabilities so that it's not a matter of, well, what if this, I don't really understand, I know server-based voice systems, voice-directed picking. It's all about being able to see it on your network, in your organization, with your people, to see what the capability really is. Because once you show that automation piece, once you show how you can actually assist in the warehouse transformation, especially you know to the to the digital automation piece, then the the wheels really get turning. Gosh, we could use this in receiving that problem we have going from back and forth screen to screen. We could use this in shipping, where we've got three shipping bays and we could just make sure it's bay one, two, or three. There's all kinds of capabilities that you can utilize voice for. Now the ability for us to come in and especially with android you know have a look and have your users try you know the zebra wireless headset have them try the hd 4000 being able to push uh, images out to that being able to utilize all the benefits of automation that can happen in the background once all of our customers and users see these benefits their minds race and that's exactly the way we want it because the capability is there for them to effectively integrate it any way that they want um, from a perspective of where it's gonna have the biggest impact in the shortest amount of time. Now, historically, that's always been in, in a picking environment, whether it's case pick, piece pick, each, I mean, whatever, because it's such a high density application, there's a lot of capability and a lot of room for automation and speed increases and accuracy increases. So that's usually where we start but it's never where we end. All of our customers right now average between six and seven voice automated workflows once they begin to understand how the capability works and, and, and what it does. So could you explain a little further the ROI for AccuSpeech and how could we quickly gain uh, a return? Okay, so we do provide a very granular ROI calculator. So we wanna make sure that the customer has no uh, um, reservations or doubts about a hard metric. We take into consideration if they need new hardware, headsets, um, maybe they need they want to upgrade to the, the TC5 or 7 series uh, with Zebra so they can use the HD4000. Uh, we, we take advantage of all that. We, we take a, a hard look at what it's going to take to voice automate the application, uh, how many, uh, you know, we're usually on site for a week or two to, to help with uh, user acceptance testing. Uh, what, what we want to do is take advantage of every single piece of hardware, software service, and software license that our customers are going to need, and then we put them into our calculator. And it will give a very, very hard number in terms of if your pr productivity increases are this much, you're going to see this. If your productivity is this much, your accuracies, your accuracy percentage increases this much, you're going you're gonna to have a hard number in terms of a metric so that the folks that we talk to in operations and the managers can take it to their bosses and say, hey, if we do this and it has this kind of an impact, and oh, by the way, I've seen this capability on our floor, on our stuff, we can see an ROI in less than a year. And then all of that profitability drops to the bottom line as you move forward. So we feel that the ROI calculator is a big, big piece of what we do because it provides you know, our customers, especially the ones that are really close to, to where the action is, some real hard metrics so that they can, you know, they can measure because if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And, and we want to make sure that, that our customers have a real strong ability to say, hey, this, has a, this has had this sincere impact on our business so that they look good. And that's, that's our job to make our customers look good. Excellent. Thank you for that, Bob. So now I'm thinking 
to your point, like an operations manager, I'm thinking I may not have all the technical resources available to do a deployment like this. I mean, it sounds like I want to go ahead and do this right away based on uh, the quick ROI that I can receive that's less than a year. Uh, obviously, that depends on the capital expenditure that I would have up front. Um, based on what you said earlier, how would I get something like this done if I have constraints on my front end resources and even constraints on my IT resources? This is one of the biggest reasons why our, our customers love our edge based technology. We don't need a lot of IT support. I mean, we really like to have IT folks, you know, in the entire process so that they understand how it works. But again, you're not connecting a new server to your WMS. You're not adding anything to your network. Everything we do is on the edge based device that you probably already have, especially if you've already made the move to Android. So what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll build a voice project that works best for you in our POC. Uh, we'll do user acceptance testing. We do all of that work. Now, we also welcome the, the, uh, the IT folks so that they can understand how our toolkit works, how uh, everything we do, how the automation piece works. Um, since you know we want them to be a big part of what we do, we like them to be, and, and once they see how it works and how they don't have to utilize a bunch of resources to support it, how they constantly have to look at it to make sure that it's working properly, they become big fans of how our technology works as well. Especially since, again, I, I mentioned earlier about the ease and agility of, a, of deployment, one at a time, 10 users at a time, one warehouse at a time, all of a sudden it becomes at your pace and they don't necessarily have to have a ton of resources to all of a sudden say, okay, we're going to move to voice directed picking. And all of a sudden you, you hit this huge switch and everybody moves over. That's not how it works anymore. The edge based devices now, again, are, are very powerful and have the capability to, to, to utilize voice as a digitate, uh, to, to digitize uh, the information right over the network that the way that they used to do it with the exact, and no additional traffic, no additional servers, no additional software uh, going right to the WMS. And by the way, that WMS can be in the cloud, that WMS can be on premise, uh, however the customer wants it. The strengths of being an edge-based technology is you can support all of these different types of applications right on that device, regardless of where uh, the WMS resides. So, um, and, and once we deploy, once that's deployed, the changes are really easy to make. A lot of our customers, especially the folks in IT, learn how to use our toolkit and learn how to use the capability. So they start, they'll, they'll do the second and third and fourth application once we show them and train them how to utilize it because they know. Well, we could try it on one person. We could try it you know, on one person in shipping. We can see if there's a difference. Again, we work really hard to make sure that there's a metric before and after, even if it's one person, three people, five people. Um, so the key is to be agile in, in terms of development so that you can add more applications or you can make changes quickly. It's flexible so that you can deploy at your schedule um, and, and in a way that makes financial and, pr and uh, production sense for our customers. So, and, and, and we partner with them. We try to understand what it is that they want to do. And we don't tell them that they don't know how to do their own business. We, we, we really respect and appreciate how they're doing what they're doing. And we just want to make it better. Um, so, and it's always exciting to work with those types of customers because they know, uh, gosh, we could use this in receiving right now. And, and even if it's a very simple, you know, voice drop in, if it has the, you know, the, the type of uh, compelling change that they want to have, you know, we're happy to be a part of it. So like I say, most of our customers have five or six workflows voice enabled at all times. And it's not because it doesn't work, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so you mentioned operational implementation. So I'm thinking now I'm implementing AccuSpeech Mobile today. So in the automotive industry, and I have to use this analogy because I think it makes perfect sense, I'm changing the tires as the car is moving, meaning I have to implement this new solution. I have to implement AccuSpeech uh, and I have, you know, the automotive industry is in high demand. I have to maximize my resource. How do I train the resource on this new technology without impacting my operations, my flow of picks and packs and damages? How do I do that on a daily basis? Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's a great analogy. 
The fact is trying to change tires on a moving car is a very, very interesting perspective when you look at adding voice automation in any warehouse implementation. In the past, when it was a server-based voice directed, it's true. You would have to stop that car, park it, and then move to a new car and start all over again, new workflow, new application, new everything. With edge-based voice automation, you can build these projects, you can test them on a test server, you can roll them out one or two people at a time. So it goes at the pace that the customer wants. So you can deploy one person at a time, one shift at a time, then you can make changes. We have what's called user acceptance testing where for the first week, we start with one, two, three, four, five people. We follow them around. We look at the voice interface to make sure that it's working properly. We make tweaks to it where we can do more automation. We do it on site and so that we continue to, to optimize what we're doing. But again, knowing how fast your car is moving, the, the last thing we want to do is slow it down, especially for in the automotive industry right now. They can't slow down. We can't stop the car. It has to be how can I add it right now? So we can show them with the automation, one, two, how many, however many workers at a time that they want to utilize, how effective it can be. And then they can make the choice. So they can decide how effective it's going to be. The, the whole opportunity, the opportunity that exists for our customers is for them to put it where they want, when they want. It's, it's absolutely non-interruptive in terms of their current workflows and how they're doing their work today. So they can add it as they wish, um, no interruption of service. And you know that, that, that's very interesting in terms of the moving car because in the past you do have to stop the car. Now we can absolutely change the tires while it's moving and the customer can decide exactly how they want to do it and when they want to do it. Excellent, Bob. Are there any last comments or thoughts you'd like to leave with the audience? Well, I guess the biggest, impact we can have is the customer inviting us in and showing us how they're doing what they're doing. <clears throat> there has been voice in the warehouse for a long time, but with the advent of the digital warehouse and, and very strong Zebra edge-based devices, and now with, with visuals available, it is an entirely new landscape of technology. And we really welcome customers to, to take us up on our proof of concept challenge, to co have us come in, take a look at what you're doing, have us do some automating and voice enabling on your current devices, on your current uh, WMS, um, ag again, so that you, they can actually tell us where the biggest impact will be. Once there is an understanding of how device-based, edge-based voice automation works, they really begin to understand that you, I, they understand that, yes, it, it can take only four to six weeks to deploy. I, I see where it's, you know, agile and flexible where I can use as many people as I want. I, I see where it really is on my timeline and it, it will give them the full functionality and capability of, of any voice product, but adding to the capability and functionality of what they're already doing. And, and that's, what we see, those are the customers we love, are the ones that have really worked hard to have the best hardware uh, in, in the user's hands, to have the most effective applications, because we want to show them that not only did they make all the right decisions in the past, but moving forward, they're going to continue to reap the benefits of that type of a, of a vision. And that's what we would like to do is, is have customers or, or prospective customers call us and let them let us show them exactly how functional and how strong uh, edge-based voice automation can be in their warehouse. Bob, on behalf of Zebra Technologies, thank you for sharing your knowledge and experience. As mentioned earlier, we invite our audience to contact their partners, their Zebra representative, or Bob and his team to discuss the voice-enabled solutions. I want to thank you for your time and interest. And remember, Zebra, our partners, and ISV community, are committed to your success.